So I'm going to really quick walk you through the uh, components we need. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, we're going to need the board, which is probably the most expensive part, um, but the most important part. Uh, I'm going to take you over here to uh, Amazon. It's probably the more expensive route. However, if you're a Prime member, you can get it here fairly quickly. Um, so about $9 maybe. And you can get a board. However, I bet if you go on eBay or other places and you're willing to wait a little bit longer, I think you can probably get them for 3 or $4. So the other thing we're going to need are some little jumper wires. Uh, you can buy these. If you've already got some electronic stuff laying around, you probably already have some of these. Um, this is pretty expensive. I definitely, uh, if you're willing to wait, I, I would go to eBay. Um, I bet you could get these for a, a couple of bucks. Um, but again, if you want them quicker, do it this way. Or you could, I mean, you could go to a hardware store, well, one of the bigger ones, or an electronic store if they still exist. Um, if you can find a Radio Shack or something, and get some wire and just cut it and strip off the ends if you want to do it that way. Really, we just need some wires, and we're only going to use two. So it's uh, really not a whole lot. Then uh, we're going to be using a breadboard. And uh, these are the listings I'm showing you. Um, these are not my recommended picks necessarily. I'm just uh, finding something really quick to show you. But if you're not familiar with a breadboard, this is what you need. Um, this is a solderless breadboard, which means you can take the, uh, the uh, MCU, Node MCU board and stick it into these holes here. You don't need to solder anything. So it's good for projects, development projects anyway. Um, you know, later on, if you actually want to build something um, for more than just development use, you might want to get the Node MCU that doesn't have all the pins on it, and then you can solder. We're not going to do that here. We're just going to mess around with the uh, breadboard. Now you are going to need a micro USB cable. Um, I'm, I'm assuming most of you have a phone and have had uh, cell phones for a while, so I'm sure you've got a couple of those laying around. But uh, just a regular, the same cable you use for most modern phones that aren't Apple uh, should work for that. And that is so we can connect the board to the computer. Uh, and then later, if you want to not have it connected to the computer, you can uh, plug it into a, a wall outlet. Then uh, lastly, we need an LED light. We just need one. Um, I'm using blue. Uh, it, it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, as long as it's not RGB, that's a different kind that's going to have more than two pens. And, uh, and I'm only using blue because I'm using a, a green screen backdrop on the, uh, uh, under the uh, breadboard, and I don't want the light to disappear when it turns on if I'm using like a green light. Um, so again, you only need one of these, and if you're already doing electronic stuff, you probably already have a couple of these floating around. But uh, So that's it. We need the board a breadboard, a couple of jumper wires, and the LED lights.